Okay, YouTube. I just wanted to let you know I got this uh, Bayliner Capri. It's got the 85 horse force on the back. Uh, and this is a boat that I previously had worked on. It had uh, it was having issues with uh, stalling when placed in a gear. I rebuilt the carburetors on it. Uh, went to go restart it. I lost spark for some reason, and then when I looked into it, I found out that the trigger had wires that were all frayed in it. So I pulled the flywheel off. I repaired the wires at least the best I could um, without replacing the wires. I just basically wrapped them in uh, um, uh, electrical tape to protect them, and I regained spark. I think it was rounding out to the uh, block, and I, I had lost spark. So I regained spark. I got it running again, and uh, so now it's back. And the reason it's back is now he's having issues at wide open throttle, where it's it's bucking. the The engine is bucking and spitting, and you know, doing all kinds of weird things at, at high RPM. Um, at idle, it's okay. Uh, he says it runs okay at idle, starts up, no problem. But now it's wide open throttle. So I'm, I'm going to go through the Lincoln Sync uh, again. Uh, I suspect that the, um, it's possible that the, uh, the um, carburetor intake gaskets <coughs> were, were, were faulty because I had to reuse the old ones. So now I'm, I've ordered new ones. I'm going to put them in, see if that doesn't improve it. And um, we'll do a late trial on the uh, out on uh, Lake Sinclair and see if we can't get this thing running top notch. So that's what we're after now, and uh, that's what you'll see coming up. So uh, I told I told the owner I would not charge him for doing this. I've got a it, it could be my fault because uh, maybe I shortcutted it because the gaskets did not come with the carburetor gasket kits. So those. Uh, intake gaskets have to be ordered separately and we did not do that so I, I reused them that was a, probably a big mistake on my part but uh, whether that's the problem or not we'll find out it could be other issues fuel related issues uh, possibly uh, possibly the fuel pump um, but we'll get into it and we'll figure it out so stay tuned and uh, and uh, hopefully if you've got similar problems with uh, with fuel issues with your your force outboard, then maybe this will help you. So keep watching. Now, I did check one of the, uh, all three of the coils he just purchased a new coil for this. The top coil is uh, was showing about 2,500 uh, ohms of resistance, and 2,000 is the uh, is the upper limit. So he replaced it. We're thinking that maybe this was causing the miss. Maybe at upper at the uh, higher loads, maybe the uh, coil was starting to break up. But uh, apparently that wasn't the problem. So. So he's got a new wiring, new wire. Of course, you can see it's orange versus the black. Um, so that didn't resolve the problem for him. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, the air cleaner cover, or air, I should say air cover on the carburetors, pull the carburetors back off and uh, see what I find out on the, uh, if we replace the uh, intake gaskets on here so um, okay so that's what I'm going to do next yeah this one's actually damaged I don't know if you can see that or not but right where the it's torn, so that might be our problem right there. Um, there's three, okay. Now, that's the throttle linkage. So when this is at full throttle, this is these are the adjustments to make sure that all of them 
um, butterflies in the throat, in the back of the throat of the carburetor are all horizontal. So that's what I was adjusting here. You just basically you uh, loosen this up and you you um, you adjust these up and down, the slides up and down in order to get those horizontal. It's not really difficult, um, but uh, this one controls these two and this one controls this one down here. So I'm gonna look at those again to make sure when I hook this back up. So in other words, Uh, again, but they're fully open. Yep. Yep. And yeah, it looks like it is. So Good. Okay. That's part of your Lincoln sink. So you want to synchronize the carburetor linkage. This is your linkage. And, uh, that's that was actually running pretty smoothly at that point. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. Um, now what I want to do, I'd like to get it fired up and start it, and see what happens. See if the uh, if the uh, if, if I get uh, any kind of uh, irregularity out of the carburetors, I hope not. I, sh I shouldn't. But uh, probably the best thing to do would be take it to the lake and check it with these new intake gaskets on and see if that didn't improve it. And I'm going to choke it manually. <laughs> see if those intake gaskets help you know it seems to start up good it doesn't hesitate it doesn't stall it seems to run pretty good so uh, that's uh, I think that's this should be fixed I, I don't see any other problems here we got spark in all three cylinders um, we should be running good so and I did a Lincoln sink again just to make sure you know the uh, all the all the uh, butterflies were lined up properly, even the choke butterflies. That was one part of it. 
um because they might have been off just a little bit and that might have been causing some issue with full throttle but i think it was the intake the intake gaskets i, I really do so i'm going to call the owner see if we can take her out on the lake and uh go from there see how she runs but uh anyway it's a nice boat and i know he wants to make it run right so we're, i'm going to do everything i can okay we're uh I'm gonna hook the boat up, or I already actually have. I'm gonna take it out to uh, Selfridge Air Force Base, where uh, the DNR launch is, and give this a test run. Uh, run. We'll see if that engine still coughs and spits, or if it's been fixed. So this is the this is the idea. So the owner's given me permission to tow it uh, about 15 or so miles to the lake, and uh, my son-in-law will meet me there. Um, his name is Justin. We're going to take it out and see what we got. Hopefully everything will go just fine and the problem is resolved. So come along for the ride. gotten worse, not better. All right, give us some more flour. Let's see what it does. Let's go to the left. I'm going to get, get away from the door. Not that close, but I just... That's the fault of the airport thing. They have a problem with... Uh, we to put a new coil on it. I mean, the old coil seemed to work better. Yeah, see, it's not. Huh? Yeah, sorry, no, I checked it. It looked like it was okay. Now, but it's going to give it more gas. See it? gas tank he's got a strange valve on it that is supposed to you know you're supposed to not have to vent the gas tank and I, I suspect that could be an issue too so we're gonna next thing we're gonna do is probably remove that and try it with, you know like it's supposed to be with no you can see it down there there's a, there's a valve right there it's supposed to be a continuous feed that you don't plug the engine, but I suspect it's not working. But I, I don't know. You've got to eliminate things that don't belong there. And that's one thing that really doesn't belong there. I want to check the gas tank, make sure it's vented. Alright, so I pumped the fuel, the primer bulb, and it seemed like it was, as I was pumping it, we were gaining speed, and it wasn't bucking like it was at all. So it's either that valve on the gas tank, or the, the fuel pump is going back. Now we'll run it fairly consistent. Go ahead and increase the, uh, the speed. We'll see if, what happens. If it, we'll demand more fuel. See if it starts to buck again. It's doing better now. Yeah, that's 
during the work now. Let's try to use up the throttle. You know, back in like neutral or not neutral. But we'll, uh, we'll back it off and maybe stop. And let's see how it performs back here in the speed. That's about as slow as you're going to get, you know, without, without putting it in the All right, now gradually increase the throttle, and we'll, and we'll see how the engine engages. Now that I pumped the air out of that, I guess that that valve was a problem. That valve was a very expensive valve. It was supposed to maintain pressure, but I've never, I've never used one. Let me pump it again. I'm going to pump the primer bulb. All right, give her, give her more. I'm pumping the primer bulb. Okay, the boat is now back in the driveway. Um, well, I, I haven't determined it, the exact problem, but I'm really thinking it's it's that valve right there. Either that or the fuel pump itself. Now, this tank, to give you some history, this tank is a uh, non-ventable tank. It has a cap on it without a vent, and this valve here is supposed to is supposed to substitute for the EPA, you know, EPA emissions for a ventless type of tank, and um, I, I don't I don't know. I mean, uh, I think what we're going to do we're going to take that we're going to take that valve off of there and run a direct fuel line through the through the the, the bulb. Of course, it's kinked there, but it wasn't when we were running it. But anyway, the we're just going to run it direct. From the tank right to the motor and um, and uh, right to the right to the fuel pump so if it continues to kick and you know buck and whatever it was doing um, 
I believe then we're going to just rebuild the fuel pump and go from there. Um, take it out again and, and, and sample it. But it's getting better. It seems like each time we, you know, when we were running it yesterday, um, you know, we we were pumping that primer bulb pretty good, and it, it was picking up speed, and as you saw in the video. So usually that's indicative of a fuel pump failure, and it's beginning to get uh, diaphragms either got a hole in it or it's beginning to get weak. Could even be an air leak somewhere in the fuel system. But uh, I'm not going to, I'm not blaming the carburetors at this point. I think the carburetors are adjusted fine. Um, it ran, when it did run good, it ran very well, as long as I kept pumping that primer bulb. So anyway, stay tuned. And, uh, you know, I think this boat will be uh, very nice once it's running right. Um, it's going to take a little little more diagnostics and, uh, and we'll get it done. So stay tuned. Tomorrow we're going to take it out and um, bypass that valve and go from there. Uh, if I have to rebuild the fuel pump, I will do that and I will videotape it for you. So stay tuned. All right, we're going to launch the boat right now and uh, hopefully all will go well. We've depleted the valve from the gas tank and so we're going to just try it without the, uh, the valve assist for the gas tank and vent the gas tank with a new fuel line. Okay, folks, don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe.